Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing Jungle Scarner. Unfortunately, Spectator Mode didn't take, dude. <laughs> no, he had the Spectator Mode in his um, in his email, so it didn't really work out that way. So uh, yeah, Jungle Scarner. We are starting off at the usual Wolves into Blue. Heimerdinger mid. That is not going to be very epic I think uh, because he's up against Zerath and he uh, cannot really place uh, the, the turrets yeah you shouldn't start turrets against someone with a high range because well they can just pick off the turrets well with one skill most of the time and yeah you really don't want that well Timo is the bane of uh, of Heimerdinger by the way oh Yep, there we go. Heimerdinger getting killed. Nice engage there by the enemies. Yeah, Timo is invisible, so it shouldn't be a problem. And he can spot as a living ward. So this is uh, hopefully going to work out <laughs> for Timo. It is good that Timo is still there because now they can see what the enemy team decides to do. And they can actually engage on this, but yeah, the bottom laners are not really doing anything. And Timo might actually be able to steal this uh, this blue if it doesn't get... Oh yeah, he did get it. Nicely played. Very nicely played, in fact. And a grab from Blitzcrank, not landing. So, wow! Darius almost getting killed and he's going to run in this bush. So they might have been able to uh, to pick that up. Yeah, of course the jungler should have uh, used his smite on that. And uh, Timo now gets a free blue buff. Excellent. That's a good start. And yeah, he's not going to be able to do red on his own. Nobody's coming to help him. And oh, finally, Heimerdinger is going to help him. Yeah, they uh, should have ran straight to red and, uh, well, got them a turret on that or something like that. But it seems that, um, yeah, Heimerdinger just didn't place his turret. Yeah, he's going to have a very, very hard time against this Zerath if, if Zerath is anywhere near good. Um. Yeah, the range skills nuke down turrets really quickly. As I said, Timo is really the bane of the the, the Heimerdinger because he has this uh, a long range attack, and yeah, he only has to hit the turret like twice in the beginning because of the poison. The poison will take down a whole lot of XP on a, uh, or HP on that. And is he actually going to be able to steal this just like that? How? Where's the enemy jungler? Oh, there is no enemy jungler. The enemy is just engaging that for uh, just for the fun of it. Okay. Well, that answers your question. Whether or not you should watch. If you don't watch to wa uh, want to watch a uh, game with, <laughs> with only one jungler, then um, feel free to leave. Uh, yeah, Timo losing his blue buff here to uh, Hecarim. And yeah, getting stunned here, this should be interesting. Oh, he actually gets out. Okay, at 38 HP. I don't know why this guy just didn't finish him off. Yeah, he still had plenty to uh, take the damage from this because the turrets really don't do that much damage. Anyway, um, we are currently in the base. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, if you're having the same trouble with your uh, uh, replay software not accepting the spectator mode, you should turn off Steam while playing, because that seems to cause some problems. I don't know why, I don't know what it has to do with each other, but probably uses the same bit of software, so I don't know. The same resource on the computer, that's most of the times the, the cause of a problem like that. But yeah, well... It's all good. Yeah, there's nobody there. I don't know what they're checking there, but they just saw him recall, so... 
Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, it's funny like that every now and then. So, uh, Skarner, yeah, he hasn't really been able to do anything yet. He at least got the buffs and he's going to steal the enemy red buff here. Should, of course, do that from the bush because that way he, uh, yeah, won. Oh man, that was such a coincidence. And is he going to be able to smite that? It, by the way, the fact that there is no jungle on the enemy team kind of explains why uh, why they didn't smite it when they could. And oh yeah, he just got killed. Yeah, I was wondering why or if he could get out of that, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, Skarner a little bit mad about him getting killed, and yeah, of course that is the result of not doing the safe uh, option. The safe option would have been to drag it all the way over here. You can get it to over here. I think you can even get it into in this bush, but I don't know exactly how to do that. You can, however, run all the way here, and then the small minions will still still hit you, but the big one will walk with you. I think the the small ones will actually walk up to here as well. Don't know. Haven't done that in a while. I don't know if they changed anything. And uh, Timo is in some trouble here. If he gets uh yeah, if he gets focused, they could have easily killed him. But he doesn't get focused, so it's all good. Yeah, Timo is still in trouble. Yeah. He's, he might actually pick up this kill. Yes, he does. So that's a good trade for him, but he's still going to lose this top turret in the next minion wave, I'm afraid. Because Darius is going to kill this wave and Skarner comes in to prevent that turret from going down. It's uh, only going to delay it by a little bit because Teemo cannot stand up to two enemy champions, of course. They should have put Teemo mid and Heimerdinger top. Heimerdinger can go up against two champions because he has these turrets. And the turrets are actually way better against uh, melee champions than against a ranged champion like this. And Teemo can handle this uh, this mid lane, but I don't think they actually uh, came up with that uh, idea when they picked the champions, or rather divided the lanes. And uh, yeah, after that, when they saw, because this is probably a blind pick, but after that, when the, they saw who was going to be in what lane they should have realized that this wasn't the best setup for them anyhow the the the, the Skarner going to jungle on and he doesn't really have a lot to do because his mid lane yeah it gets gets pushed every now and then but then uh, Heimerdinger is too low to help so uh, wow almost getting killed there but <laughs> anyway, uh, Heimerdinger is too low to engage in this case, so then it would be a one versus one, and um, Zerat would love it if he did. He did that. Well, top is uh, two versus one, and it's pushed all the time. But these guys are so strong, and Timo also, yeah, not really able to uh, to go up against these two. So even with the Skarna support uh, or Skarna backup, he wouldn't be able to do anything. And they're not pushing the lane too far, it's just pushed. It's not like over pushed in any way. Yeah, we can't see the the health it seems. He has 950 health out of 950, so why did he flash that? I don't know, I don't know. So Skarner going for the enemy blue once again. And he's going to just rack up that gold because the buffs are worth a lot of gold. Well, the the minions on that. And yeah, finally able to get into this mid lane. Because the the uh, Heimerdinger finally not like, yeah, super low. And unfortunately that did not work out. Yeah, Heimerdinger doesn't really have any targeted damage. So he needs to have the damage from his turrets and the turrets don't target anything that he wants, they just target whatever they feel like. So yeah, it's hard to uh, to get that to work against someone like Zerat who has all targeted spells. Well, skill shot, I guess. 
in between them. Well, uh, his ultimate and his Q are skill shots. Uh, yeah, that's it. The stun is still, uh, or the stun spell, I don't know what it's called, but it is still a targeted spell. But yeah, you can uh, you can target the region you like, whereas with the Heimerdinger, you kind of have to depend on whatever the turrets would like to do, or the rockets would like to do. Of course, the rockets can still reasonably be uh, be aimed. Yeah, it's it's not like very hard to figure out how that works and when you can hit someone and when you can't. But it is um, you are way better, of course, to have a skill that you can actually target. So it seems that um, the top laners came in to do some damage here and get the Heimerdinger. As I said, Heimerdinger will have some trouble, and he indeed does have some trouble. He will get better in the late game if he uh, he can get um, some AP going, some uh, HP, and some cooldown reduction. Well, he has cooldown reduction on his ultimate, so I guess that's good enough. Yeah, two turret shots for Zerat, who doesn't really care about that too much. And yeah, nice stun there, but it's not going to result in a kill this time. Timo is over there. He is being invisible. The invisible man. Yes, Timo is a man. I don't know, Timo is more like a squirrel. Anyhow, the bottom lane getting a kill. It seems that the top laner is now all the way in bottom lane. And they are going to grab a kill over here. Yep, there we go. Actually getting a double kill here. Wow. Yeah, they can just tower dive, no problem. They are super tanky. And oh no, no! What are you doing? No, he gets out, he gets out, so it's all good. For now, flash. And go, 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 go. Yes, he gets out. Zerat has an incredibly long range, of course. So might have still been able to uh, to do something there. And Zerat back in mid lane with Darius this time. They are going to wipe the few minions away from their turret. And yeah, well, Heimerdinger just keeps harassing the opponents like he should, but he's also overextending all the freaking time. And yeah. Even when he tags up Darius a little bit, it's very hard to finish him off. As you can see, gets away at very low health, and that's how it always works with Heimerdinger. You need someone else there to finish the kills. And come on, get him into range. Oh, didn't get the stun off? What? Yeah, he's going to die now. Oh, wow. That was so fail on Blitzcrank. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, that never should have happened, man. <laughs> he should have died. But yeah, the, the come on, Skarner getting a little tankier now. Has a few levels going and uh, should be able to uh, to get some some uh, uh, yeah good things going now. Should be able to do uh, some damage and uh, well stay alive. Timo getting grabbed there. Not completely sure what happened there, but yeah, I'm, I saw Timo getting grabbed, so that's what I'm going with. And we are just going to give away the blue buff to someone who wants it, but nobody wants it. Okay, that's cool. Oh, he said I'll get blue. Okay. He didn't say, does anyone want blue? Because Heimerdinger can still use it pretty well, and uh, Timo can of course use it. Because Timo is going AP, at least he was going AP. No, he's now going uh, kind of a mixed build. It's going to be the Melody. Melody, of course, a very good item on Timo. Because it helps him deal extra damage with his poison. As well as give him attack speed. So, that's good. Where's Blitz? Blitzcrank's still in here. He's probably recalling. No. 
other guy going in there as well. Two guys in here. And they are oh, three guys in there. <laughs> in the mid lane, however, the Heimerdinger getting killed. And wow, did he really not see that or what? I think he was too concentrated on the red buff. But that was kind of silly. Should of course have backed off way earlier. <laughs> that didn't work out. Yeah, that's kind of an understatement there. Yeah, okay. We um we see Timo in mid lane now. And Timo will do a little bit better. Uh, uh, although, yeah, the mid laners, or well, all the left laners are fed so much that pretty hard for anyone to do this. So six skills behind, definitely behind in gold. It's not like they picked up some dragons or turrets or anything like that. In fact, the enemy team picked up two turrets. And uh, Zerat, yeah, just standing there, doing nothing. Like a pro, uh, mean wise 80, 60, 70, and here we have 70, 60, 50. So definitely behind. Uh, yeah, definitely behind on the enemies. I don't know who was bottom lane. I guess that was Scion. Yeah, because Darius and Hecarim were top lane. So yeah, Scion in bottom lane farming up quite nicely, and yeah, since we have no uh, no no ranged carries here, no or no ranged AD carries, it's uh, kind of hard to get these team fights going. Well, to uh, to finish them, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, also to get the positioning right on all of your champions. So someone getting caught here. Oh, Hecarim and uh, Rice both catching each other and come on get him oh this is um, not going to work out again <laughs> yeah he uh, retreats and Timo is getting killed so Timo too aggressive and that's not working out for him so is uh, is he going AD yes he is yeah the shield exploded in one grenade and that was kind of yeah, strange. If he were to go AP, he would have a lot better shield, and yeah, that would work out a lot better, of course. But yeah, if you're going AP on uh, on Scion, you only have that one trick. Well, yeah, one trick, two skills. Uh, you have the stun into a shield explosion, and <laughs> that really isn't fun to play, in my opinion. It's strong, but it's not fun to play. So yeah, once again, Heimerdinger not getting the last bit of damage done. And, oh man, is he going to die? No, he is going to get the kill and then die. But at least he got the kill. And once again, oh, that was a load of damage going off. Yeah, once again, not working out for him. But it's all good, they're still trying to at least uh, a team fight and even though they uh, they are severely behind and not surrender at 20 you need to play better dude I mean Heimerdinger can uh, can block the Blitzcrack grabs with his turrets and he can do all kinds of crazy stuff but if you build all kinds of AP instead of building tankier then yeah every time you get grabbed or get near the enemies you're going to get killed and that of course is never a good plan for an AP mid so Timo going to farm up a huge minion wave here that is good that will definitely put some money in his bank and yes he gets all of them well maybe not but we can see in the meantime, mid lane has another kill for this guy, or against this guy. Uh, so to, uh, the yeah, the the, the Skarner getting the kill on Heimerdinger, but then getting killed by Skarner. 
and that Zerat is doing pretty well. He uh, he's doing a load of damage, but yeah, it's a three for two trade, so that's still good for them. And well, the two were even Heimerdinger, who died like three times in a row now, and Jana, who is the support, so that's not really a problem. So that means that they can push a little bit. Because with, uh, well, I guess Timo is the uh, AD carry now. Although he doesn't have any attack damage yet. He does have some... Uh <laughs> oh man. Um, he does have some attack speed though. So Skarner in the meantime going to get a blue buff. And there he is over here. Still at half health. Having some, uh, some, some fun there with uh, the enemy champions. Grabbing the Heimerdinger once again, and bye bye Heimerdinger once again. Hmm. Yeah, Heimerdinger kind of going the same way as Evelyn. He uh, used to be, when he came out, he was completely overpowered. He was super good. Then they nerfed him once. He had six turrets in the beginning, for those of you who don't know. Um, he had six turrets, and you could upgrade them with your ultimate, so not by leveling the skill. And, um,. Yeah, we're not going to surrender. Screw you. Uh, yeah, then uh, later on the six turrets became three. And now there are only two left. And his ultimate still sucks balls. Although they improved it a little bit in uh, well, a patch a few months ago. But it's still nowhere near playable yet. Uh, compared to the new champions. The new champions are all much, much stronger than the old ones. Uh, with the exception of some AD carries, I guess. And Rise, But Rise has been remade. Trindamir has been remade. Um, yeah, those kind of champions are still pretty strong. But a lot of the old champions are just not as strong as the current champions. And that's, of course, never what you want. So, um, a double kill for Skarner here, but yeah, I was following around the, um, what's his name, uh, Heimerdinger. Because <laughs> Heimerdinger got killed again. And come on, Skarner, you can do this. Nice. Six kills, three deaths, that's an excellent uh, score. He's going to carry this game, man. He's going to carry them to victory. So yeah, they can still win team fights. They just won this one uh, three to two again, and again the Darius survives. The Blitzcrank survives. I think Blitzcrank is um, no longer. I, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a while. Maybe I just saw him. I just didn't notice him. That could be it. Yeah, there he is. Oh right, he's the no. I'm I'm looking for this yellow blob, and then he comes in and he's grey. So yeah, that's why I didn't recognize him in my memory <laughs> out of all the previous fight. But yeah, there he is doing all kinds of skills on the air. Wants to show off his uh, awesome skills there. And yeah, he's going to run over here. And now, well, a four versus one. He needs to die here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Another 500 gold for our uh, Skarner. And Red Buff's gone. You're wearing Red Buff, dude. He probably just stole that. So, yeah, Timo's stealing the big rates. And, oh, get out of there. Almost stun into stun, but not going to matter. All uh, skill shots of our Xeroth here missing. And come on Rice, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay, just back off guys. Just back off. Oh nice, flash from Timo. He was probably typing something. So Timo getting a kill, finally, or not Timo, a Heimerdinger. And yeah, they are going to finish off this entire team, or they should at least be finishing that off. Come on, ultimate. Oh, he didn't have an ultimate. Uh, yeah, guess who died? 
<laughs> Heimdinger really not having the best game of his life. I, I hope at least this is not the best game of his life. But yeah, we are going to get another kill here, and that is awesome. Skarner is racking up the kills, 8 and 3 now. Great, great, great. So really should be, uh, they should be pushing this mid lane because they are ahead uh, in, well, the amount of champions alive. And they're definitely ahead in gold on two of their champions. Although uh, Darius has some nice gold as well. But Timo catching up with the amount of minions that, that Darius had. So that is pretty impressive. And yeah, they um, they really couldn't use the jungler for what it's uh, useful for. So for ganking. But in the end, it doesn't matter anymore now. Now all that matters is that they have a smite and the enemy doesn't. But yeah, the um, the entire team over here, and uh, they're not going to group up and kill someone. In fact, half of the team ran away, leaving uh, the rise behind. And yeah, they're still going to get grab three kills. Come on, one, two, and get this third one. Come on, Zerat getting three kills there, and yeah, he needs to get uh, after one of them. Oh yeah, nicely done. Gets a triple kill out of that team fight. Pretty much did everything he could to... Uh, well, to get the kills and to keep his team members alive. But the enemy team not falling for it. He's going to just tower dive this, of course. Yeah, that, that was an obvious choice. And yeah, getting uh, four kills out of that, that is excellent. So yeah, the uh, entire hero, or both teams are back up again because we're still at level 13, 14, 15, things like that. Not level 18 yet, so no really long death timers yet. And um, of course that means that the pushing after something like that so after a team fight like that you normally want to push like one of the lanes but it's very hard to do if the death timers are so short so they have to wait a little until they can actually do that later in the game they will be able to but uh, for now yeah it's just a matter of uh, waiting up, uh, waiting a little bit and just making sure that yeah they don't get killed like that two champions dying which is of course a shame because they were doing so well they are probably now ahead in gold where they were severely behind in gold in the early game but uh, yeah this is the wrong guy to, to take they're still going to be able to do a lot of damage to him but he's not nearly as important in the team as well some of the others that one for example and are they going to pick up this Scion? I'm assuming so. If they can, yeah, if they can keep her, him away from the Janna, and that was no problem with uh, with Timo there, because Timo with his uh, blinding darts can make sure that uh, Scion doesn't do anything, and because of that, he doesn't heal anything, even with that ultimate on. So retreating here. Skarner has to pay attention to what the enemies are doing. He has to make sure that he gets out of there yeah, before the enemies engage on uh, or well, go into their jungle. And go into... Uh, there they go. But uh, into the because I were going to take the red buff of course. That is the standard play here. Of course sh someone should take their red buff as well. And it seems that um, mm. yeah, it seems that they uh, they wanted to go aggressive on someone, but yeah, it's not going to happen. So still stuck with these uh, these these green turrets. And he is uh, what level? 
Level 13. So if you're going to level up the turrets, then straight up go for the red turrets at level 9. I mean, the rockets are better for against uh, Zeroth, but still, if you want to go for the turrets, then go for the turrets. Don't stop halfway through. Because this is currently level 3 or 4 out of the 5. Zerath over there, and Zerath is going to not do anything. They are going to nuke down this Heimerdinger once again, and a legendary Skarner now. And yeah, well, Zerath just used all of his skills on uh, on Heimerdinger, so he only had one stack on his uh, ultimate left. They're going to be able to pick him off here, at least I hope so, because that it would be good. Come on! Yes! Nicely done. Just got a kill on the Heimerdinger, so 300 gold again. And bye bye, AD guy. So Skarner here having some fun in the middle of the enemy team. Needs to back out now because he is going to get killed otherwise. And Timo is going to finish off one of the enemies. And actually, both of the enemies. Wow, nicely played, and he is going to die. No! Actually stays alive with like 30 HP. But yeah, nicely backed off by Skarner, just in time. And yeah, the Timo was a little bit lucky not to die there, but still. He, uh, yeah, he got the damage done. And he got two kills out of that, I think. Yeah, yeah, he got two kills. So, even a two for one trade would have been good. And yeah, why not go for Dragon? Smite is up. What are we doing? I don't know why he's gathering up or standing at the back of this. Uh, yeah, of this this cove here. Because he doesn't have smi uh, flash up, so it's not like he can flash over. Are you shopping? No, 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 he's not shopping. He did realize that Dragon was going to cancel the ultimate, or, well, did cancel the ultimate. Not ultimate recall, come on. It canceled the recall. <laughs> so bad. Um, so, yeah, this team should really just pick off the stop turrets because it's been standing there forever. Probably at about half health, yep. But yeah, they uh, they keep just wanting to push middle lane. And instead they should just push the top lane. And three mushrooms is really overdone, Timo. It's a waste of mana and very useful mushrooms. Anyhow, are they going for it? Because uh, top lane is now deserted. So that Scion might be anywhere. So yeah, going for this... Um, this Baron is, uh, well, not very risky. I don't think the enemies had have had this awarded all game. So uh, yeah, pretty easy actually. No enemies coming in. In fact, two enemies in bottom lane. And at least one in the mid lane. So how are we doing on farm? Um, 70 farm on Heimerdinger. That is pretty terrible. He should be the highest farm in the game. Well, Scion should be the highest farm in the game. And I guess he's pretty close. But yeah, he should be way higher. But because he, uh, he went AD, he kind of doesn't have a chance. Heimerdinger getting nuked down! Surprise, surprise! If you're that Heimerdinger, wouldn't you just think, well, I'm kind of tired of getting killed like 12 times. Let's buy some armor instead of all the AP I have. Because I definitely would. <laughs> Skarner in the middle of the enemy team. And yeah, he did pick up one more kill, but that's about it. So a four for two trade, a uh, two for four trade, and uh, 
Yeah, 16 and 4 now on the Skarder. The overall team is uh, teams are pretty much equal. Rise 1 and 11. And Heimerdinger, yeah, still building all AP. Now finally has the Giant's Belt there. But yeah, why would you go Voidstaff before Rylax Crystal Scepter? That's so silly if you're being killed all the time. He has been killed 12 times. That is a whole lot. You must feel that you need to do something. And the main thing he needs to do is just buy some armor and magic resist. And then go for some uh, some AP item that also gives you that. That also gives you H HP or uh, armor or magic resist. Uh, the uh, Abyssal Scepter comes to mind for example. Abyssal Scepter would be really good on him right now. But yeah, Rylas Crystal Scepter is good. Uh, the Rod of Ages I guess is good. But yeah, he needs to go something that will keep him alive through like the first three spells. And while wow, the enemy's coming in here, getting a whole lot of damage done. Getting one kill immediately. That takes uh, rise to 12 kills as well, so... Equal there. But uh, Skarner taking out the top turret there. So it's a good trait. It's a, a useless uh, rice versus turrets. And there comes the Zerath, and he wanted to get killed. I don't know why he came in all on his own. Hmm, I'm apparently at about half health, because otherwise he wouldn't have died to that. Cause yeah, there's not a whole lot of, um, of damage on these two. Unless she is building AP as well. No, she's not. And yeah, I haven't seen people build Soul Shroud in forever. But it gives cooldown reduction and mana regen, and that's not really what you normally want from a support. But hey, it's a decent item. It's not like terribly good, it's also n not terribly bad. It still does something at least. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's not one of the most useful items against this enemy team. Would have been better to go for something tanky, like uh, Age of the Legion, I guess. So lots of damage done here. <laughs> lots of... Uh, yeah, lots of good engages now all of a sudden. Uh, well, with Skarna this tanky, he can pretty much uh, engage whatever he wants. Because he's not going to get killed easily. And... Um, yeah, <laughs> Zerat says, hey, I want to die too, don't leave me here. And so they do. Rai's getting his second kill of the game. Which is unfortunate because now he's worth gold again. And the next time he suicides, he's going to be worth 300. Instead of the 50 that he was worth. So Heimerdinger recalling in the middle of the enemy base. Let's see if he survives that. No, he actually survived that because there's nobody left alive. But yeah, that was pretty silly. Rai's doing the same thing, but he is going to get killed. Oh, Skarna saving him. Nicely done. Skarna's really powerful, man. And Skarna just going to focus these turrets. I'm going to say, screw you guys, I'm going to take out this turret, even if it kills me. Oh, so close! And that's going to regenerate. It's not going really quickly. But still. It is going to regenerate, so they need to push in. Uh, well, again. To get that last little bit of health off of it. Rai is going to recall and... Yeah, the ultimate on Scion, good enough to take uh, to take out the Skarner. And he has 235 damage, that is quite a lot. Seeing that he only has the Bloodthirster, not the Infinity Edge. This I didn't see it. Oh, sorry. Um, do -do 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 -do. No, he only has Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer, and then another Zeal. So going for a second Phantom Dancer it seems, well, especially with the Cloak of Agility. 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's decent, I guess. Uh, if you want to go for that extra, uh, yeah, that extra damage on your ultimate to be as useful as possible. Guess who died? Yeah, I I understand why he died there because he um, currently was uh, level with Rise on uh, the amount of deaths, and he wants to be ahead. I I can totally get that. Because, well, that match has been played in a lot of the games that I cast. Like, who can get the most deaths and the most in the most silly situations. And in this case, Heimerdinger is leading the board by a landslide. No, just by one, one death. He needs to be careful because otherwise Ryze will catch up with him. And Ryze will suicide in again and, uh, and grab the lead. And that, of course, yeah, that, that would be... Uh, yeah, th that would be bad. So yeah, another kill. And we are currently at 19, 5 and 15. Which means that he has been in uh, 34 out of 43, uh, 42 kills. That is quite a lot. He missed only a very few. So I'm going to tank the turret here to take that down. It should in fact just run up the middle lane and get that turret. Oh no, they're going to be in some trouble here. Uh, Rice getting killed immediately. And yeah, the Scion is going to heal up very quickly. Yeah, that's not going to work out for them at all. So Janna shielding herself. Epic move. And yeah, Scion up to full health again. Yeah, that lifesteal is ridiculous, but that's the way it uh, it works. And it is indeed OP, because lifesteal is OP. But Skarner doing a great job. Let's see. Yeah, it's back at half health. So they should have just ran in and just killed that last bit of health off of it. <laughs> Oh, it's still such a shame that nobody else did damage to that turret. Everyone died in that uh, in that fight, but only Skarner got something almost done. Man, that turret. <laughs> so, Skarner is dead, and we are going to fast forward a little bit until he is back in the lane. Because otherwise we can't really see anything. Plus, nobody is engaging anywhere, so... Might as well. The yeah, the enemy team going for uh, Baron? No, they can't go for Baron. They are going for Baron now. He disconnected. Since when is that in the replays? Okay, sure. So, um, Blitzcrank is out. And, yeah. I don't know if that's a rage quit because they were winning and now they're all of a sudden losing. But uh, it could be. Could very well be. And they're going to grab the Baron and guess who dies? Oh man, Heimerdinger overextending all the freaking time. That was a little bit unnecessary ultimate. They had that kill anyway. And... Um, yeah, he might have needed that ultimate for the next one. Like this guy. Nope, he's going to ult out. So yeah, he would have used uh, if he used his ultimate on that, it would have been uh, wasted too. And yeah, this kill or this uh, turret going down and are they going to take down this turret? Yeah, the turret is healed up to almost full again. And you saw him wanting to get into that turret again, but he knows what's going to happen if he does. He's going to get killed again, and it's just going to heal back up. Yeah, I thought you couldn't see the uh, the disconnects anymore, but apparently they did see this uh, this um, disconnect because we saw it. So. And we can only see what they see in game at this moment. Yeah, it's a shame that Blitzcrank disconnected. Um, it was a pretty close game so far. 
But yeah, Timo isn't doing anything either. Is Timo also disconnected? At 12 and 5, that would be very painful for this team. And Heimerdinger kind of. Uh, well, Heimerdinger and Rise pretty much useless anyway, so. It's all about the Jenna Skarner combination here, it seems. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they, they need to uh, to push one of the lanes, either top or bottom, to get more done. Because, yeah, as you could see, the enemy team was just standing over here. And that makes that, because they have no ranged AD carry, they cannot take out the towers. Because, well, it's just, um, it's just impossible to get close and then stay alive. And with a ranged AD carry you don't have to get close you will always survive if you your team is actually paying attention and you're actually paying attention and that's how that works that's why you get a ranged AD carry and if you get a non-ranged AD carry such as well Darius then you need to um, to split push and go into a lane where nobody is but that doesn't work for the Nexus of course so they get the kill on Darius there, because, well, they're just better at running into this fight. Getting the kill on uh, Zerath, and with two of them down, they may actually just be able to push this lane. Because it is four versus four. <laughs> oh, come on. Minion wave coming in. And the minion is actually tanking the damage this time. So yeah, th this turret is going to go down really quickly because of the attack speed on Skarner. And he has 250 damage. Where did that come from? That's a pretty high amount of damage for uh, someone who only has one damage item. Plus 20 attack damage. Weehoo! This one... No, none of these... Oh, this one adds some attack damage. 30. So Yeah. Don't know. Anyway, going to get the turrets here, and um, of course the Scion will go down to an entire team. And wow, actually picking up two kills there. And now, now he's going to die? Come on, you can still die. Heimerdinger, come on, you can die. Y you know you can. Oh, uh, who won? 13 to 14? Did Heimer Heimerdinger won, right? I think he won. I think Rice was the top one. Wow, close game, and in the end it was for 4 versus 4, so, uh, and the Teemo disconnecting was way worse than the Blitzcrank disconnecting. So, um, yeah, interesting game at least, so Skarner the only decent player on the team, but that's what made it good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG!